Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. We are going to be doing another pick a card reading here based on what makes you guys attractive. Five piles like always guys. Uh, we have pile one on the far left that states protect your positivity. Pile two says you can't be yourself if you're trying to be liked. Pile three in the middle says stop being the old version of you. Pile four says what you think of yourself is much more important than what other people think about you. And last but not least, pile five says, let things unfold naturally. Pause the video if you need to, you guys can choose more than one pile, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on pile one. Hey, pile one, what is up? Thank you guys for being here. So let's go ahead and just hop right in. Group one, you guys chose this card that says, protect your positivity. So just right off the bat, going off with this character here, um, I'm getting you guys could have like really nice bodies, okay? Like your body type is just very attractive, does not matter what size you are. It's like people could see that you're very, um, please excuse the background noise. You're very comfortable with your body, especially with the clothes that you wear as well, my group one. Um, some of you guys could have a Gucci belt or just really nice designer belts that I do see here. Um, but this is almost giving me like summer vibes. And, you know, just what I'm thinking of is you guys could be pretty bright people. Like, you know, the way that you come across or maybe just your photos are just very like summery and happy and bright and just um, like feel good. Is what I want to say. You guys could have brown hair, um, quite possibly like medium length brown hair. You guys could live by the beach or you guys just have like a beachy look to you, like a boho look to you. And I feel like you guys could like rock high-waisted shorts, okay? I feel like high-waisted shorts is your thing. You guys look really good in them as well. Um, but back to the message here, I'm going to drink some coffee. Protect your positivity. You guys could be people who don't really allow too many people in your circle, okay? You guys could be people who know how to, like, uh, set boundaries. You guys could also be people who know when somebody's trying to manipulate you, when somebody's just, you know, not good vibes, um, is what I want to say. So people understand that you're someone who you have to come at, they have to come at you right, okay? And it doesn't have to be like in a very queen of swords kind of way. I'm just getting that you guys are people who know your boundaries, you know your limits, and I feel like you guys are like a fresh of breath air, you guys radiate light, so... Who doesn't want to be around light, right? And unfortunately, sometimes we attract bugs um, when we shine bright. Roll with the analogy here. So that, that's just what I'm getting with this, my group ones. You guys give off really good energy. And just the fact that not everybody has access to you is also what makes you attractive. positively about yourself so we have a lot of like body cards and also the word positivity comes out um, on both of these cards so once again you guys are you guys could always be quite positive especially like when you're going through things um, it's like you don't match people's pettiness you don't stoop down to their level like you're always someone who just looks on the bright side handles things quite maturely and Kind of like this Buddha energy where everything is okay, um, things come and go and just stay, stay uh, in a high vibration. Once again, the body wants to come out and also both these females are wearing Gucci belts. You guys could be males as well. Maybe you males just have really nice, attractive bodies. Um, for my males and my females, both of you guys could work out or you guys are into yoga, you guys are into Pilates or actually lifting weights. 
You guys could also eat very well. And speak positively about yourself. People could see that you're very body confident with the way that you move, the way that you dress. People like being around you, my group one. Let's see, da 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 da. Let's pull some of these oracle cards. These are so gorgeous. nature then I'm gonna pull this card and then we have asked body so a lot of body coming through you guys could be very conscious of your body like what you feed what you feed yourself and also what you feed your head I also feel like you guys are soul food to people like, the people around you may not even notice it, but, um, or some may, may notice this about you, but you're soul food. Um, nature. You guys could be very outdoorsy people. I'm also getting you guys can kind of have like a bohemian hippie kind of, um, feel to you. And also with nature, I'm getting you guys are very authentic people. Like the way that you show up, the way that you speak, the way that you do things, the way that you present yourself, like it's very authentic, it's very real, it's very grounding, and it's very natural. You guys can have a very natural, beautiful look to you. And I, you know, with the ass body here with the cheetah, I'm also getting you guys could come off pretty intimidating to some people or just like your stare or your gaze. Or just your determination to go after the things that you want. Uh, people feel that it's very, you're very like, you know, you have a target and you're not going to miss. Let's pull some tarot. this card wanting to flip right out and it's the world card world card to me is capricorn energy uh sagittarius and aquarius also came to mind but i like to resonate the world card with uh capricorn so <laughs> group one a lot of people see you as kind of everything okay the world card talks about uh, accomplishments, it talks about leveling up, it talks about, um, you know, closing out a cycle and a new one beginning. And the world card describing a person speaks of someone who is just very, like, well-established, someone who has created a life of their own, or they just have accumulated a lot of success in their life. Some of you guys are well-traveled, like you guys like to travel, or even just go on hikes, you know, every weekend or so. But there's some people out there, my group ones, that see you as everything.
some of you guys could have very pretty eyes as well like your eye shape or your eye color like we have eyes on this nature card the cheetah and then the world card right here okay and then we have justice so justice is libra energy maybe you guys could be a libra and that's what they like about you. You know, for example, you know, Scorpios get a lot of hype. A lot of people just like someone because of their sign. So that's what I'm getting here. Um, but the Justice card speaks of someone who is very fair. Someone who does the right thing. Justice also speaks of someone who is very balanced within themselves. Like they come across very calm. I'm also getting some of you guys could be involved in charities or um, speaking up about uh, either politics or just social injustices. Maybe some of you guys are advocates as well, like you love to get involved in um, situations and causes that need a voice, that need help. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see here. Pull some Oracle cards. we have all tied up in the reverse so with this card being in the reverse it talks about getting out of situations where we were once uh, stuck in okay there's gonna be a few of you watching this so how, however this resonates but your ability to kind of just um, look at things from a point of view the other people may have a hard time seeing the bright side of so your ability to stay positive to get yourself unstuck mentally out of situations is really admirable. Wow, appreciation. So people see you as someone very humble, someone who is able to uh, recognize and appreciate the things that they have in front of them, whether good or bad. appreciation wants to come out so we'll go ahead and leave appreciation right here some of you guys could be gardeners some of you guys grow your own weed you grow your own vegetables and plants or you're just uh, you know uh, recreational users here for marijuana Or you guys grow like flowers some of you guys own a flower shop whether like it's actual daisies and roses or it's like an actual cannabis industry or you just work in one but there's a humble quality that comes to appreciation here all right let's see let's pull one of these cards what makes my group ones attractive? You know what to do, just listen to your heart. So you guys could be people who um, are ones that have to lead with your heart. You have to lead with your intuition, even if it's situations that are quite difficult or you know you have to leave things behind or do things you don't want to do. Um, you know, we have it right next to justice, which, which is all about doing the right thing. You know, and then we have good vibes. So once again, good vibes, good energy radiating from you that people find very attractive, my group one. 
Let's go ahead and pull some more tarot cards. My group ones, what's attractive about my group ones? So we have the Knight of Cups. So I'm getting you guys could be very charming people, very lovely people. Maybe you guys have uh, water and air in your chart, maybe a little bit of earth as well. Um, but I'm getting from my males, you guys are very attractive, okay? Especially for my males who are very much in touch with their emotions. Uh, that's what makes you attractive, okay? Your ability to be vulnerable, your ability to really get in touch with this because, um, you know, I don't want to go on a rant here, but, you know, stereotypically or not even just that, males were just taught to not show emotion be in their emotions or connect with their uh their uh their feminine side some of you guys could be lgbtq some of you guys are not but just your ability to tap into your emotions here and you know for my male some of you guys are very romantic you're very charming you're very uh gentleman like okay some of my males could have long hair, you know, probably like shoulder length. Oh, I wanted to pull this card, but we have the Ace of Wands being in the reverse. So Ace of Wands reversed, hmm. I actually want to grab a clarifier here. Why is the Ace of Wands in the reverse? So we have the Magician in the reverse. So I'm getting your ability to say no. Your ability to kind of uh, turn away from people or opportunities that don't, that are not giving you what you want. We also have Gemini energy here with the Magician. Some of you guys could be a Gemini. We also have Libra coming out. I'm also getting here with the Knight of Cups to these two cards here. Uh, what people find attractive about you that people notice is that you have to do things once again with your heart if something looks or sees good but you feel like it's not for you or you feel like it's just a wrong decision like you won't do it swords so once again with the three of swords your ability to really um, show emotion when something is bothering you I'm also getting others of you you guys are heartbreakers okay and that's all I'm getting for my group one so group one uh, let me know if this resonated and please like comment and subscribe as this does help my channel smash that like button and I'm gonna move on to group two thanks group one bye Hey group two, what is up? Thank you guys for being here. So group two, let's hop right in it. You guys chose this card that says, you can't be yourself if you are trying to be liked. Okay. Um, so group two, you guys come up very confident. You guys come up very sure of yourselves. 
And what also makes you attractive is that you guys could be people with boundaries. Please excuse the background noise. Okay. Uh, the cardigan's really sticking out to me, so some of you guys could love to wear cardigans, and I feel like you guys rock the shit out of them. And you guys also, what makes you attractive is that you guys are authentic people. Okay? You guys are really out here trying to impress somebody or change your personality to fit in. It's like you guys are who you are and it really shows whether people actually know you or they're just looking at your social media. I feel like some of you guys could also inspire other people to be themselves, to not give in to social pressures, to be okay with their bodies, to be okay with the way that they look or the decisions that they make in life which is pretty inspiring so it makes i'm getting aquarius vibes i'm getting aries vibes let's go ahead and choose another card So we have protect your positivity. Some of you guys could have uh, uh, came from group one. Group one's card was this card. Yeah, and with protect your positivity, I'm also getting, uh, you guys could be people who don't really let a lot of people in. Boundaries is what's coming through pretty strong here once again. And then we have no time for BS. So I feel like you guys could be uh, people who just could really sense people's BS. You guys like to keep it real. And I feel like you intimidate some people too. It's like, don't get me wrong. I feel like you guys are very bright people. I feel like you guys um, are very cool and very likable. But at the same time, it's like you... You also have your boundaries, that's all I can uh, say. Some of you guys could be very slender, like very tall and very slender. And then these two females are wearing white tank tops. So I'm getting you guys, um, something to do with white tank tops or something to do with like the clothes that you wear they like suit your body very nice all right so let's pull some oracle cards probably should have recorded this video at night too much noise outside so let's see we have strength and we have higher perspective love it so I really like the strength card please excuse the background noise oh my goodness it's really annoying anyways um, I really love the strength card because it talks about discipline um i'm surrounded by leos as well i love leos um you know i have family members friends and exes that i dated that were were leos and one thing i can say about them is that they have a very warm energy they're very fun they're very bright they're 
just really cool people in general and very loving. They're those type of people that will really uh, s stick with you, okay? Um, especially if they have Earth in their chart as well. From my experience, I've known a lot of Leos who have like uh, an Earth rising or an Earth moon. Um, but once again, strength. You guys could be people who like to work out, like you guys are out here eating healthy, you're out here with, um, you know, sticking to your plan, sticking to your um, eating habits. You guys could be people who like structures, like you guys like uh, planners, you guys like journals. Also, some of you guys could like to grow plants. Maybe some of you guys like to smoke weed just because I am seeing like a tree here and the roots. But you guys do come across very grounding, very strong and very solid as a person. Very solid in who you are. Excuse me. I also feel like you guys are very giving. But once again, you guys are not ones to be messed with. You guys aren't ones to be taken advantage of. And then we have higher perspective. Um, with the eye here, I'm also getting you guys could have very pretty eyes, like either your eye shape or your eye color. There's something about your eyes that's just very captivating here. And it could really like be one of your best features, honestly, uh, you know, with this eye really just sticking out here. Um, but higher perspective, I'm also getting you guys could be very intelligent people very compassionate people to where you're able to see uh, people's point of views in a situation, like take a step back from your own and kind of just uh, once again see from other people's viewpoints. I also feel like you guys, what makes you attractive is that you guys are ones who you want nothing but the truth. And if you need to step away or let go of people to really kind of understand more about what's going on, it's like you'll make the necessary decisions. You know, we have strength here, once again, that talks about holding back our ego. It talks about not giving in to situations we know that aren't healthy. So um, what makes you attractive is that you guys are more on the light side rather than the dark side is, is what I want to say. I feel like your character is also what makes you attractive. I feel like you guys have a strong character. my group twos so we have the third chakra in the reverse so I actually want to pull a clarifier for this reversal here why is the third chakra in the reverse so we have angel of love in the reverse this is like my empress card untapped potential um, some of you guys may struggle with like um, loving yourselves or struggle with some kind of uh, issues in that region so I feel like what makes you attractive is you not knowing how actual how beautiful you guys are okay I feel like you guys come across uh, very to your own very much just caring about people but quite possibly maybe giving too much and kind of just uh, forgetting to take care of yourself sometimes. 
So your selfless nature really makes you attractive, my group one. I feel like you guys are very physically beautiful as well for my males and my females. We have financial constraints in the reverse. Wow. So with financial constraints reverse, I'm getting an energy of someone who has really worked themselves out of where you guys may have once been in a difficult situation. Okay. Uh, what makes you attractive is people can see your improvement. People can see that you are someone who quite possibly is or have had struggled with um, self-esteem issues, confident issues, but now I'm getting a sense that you guys are working on that. You guys are coming into uh, who you are more and more. Very cool. Let's pull some, let's see, tarot cards. All right, my group twos. What makes my group twos attractive? What makes my group twos attractive? So we have this sun card. I think this ties in well with what I was explaining, especially with the strength card here. The sun card to me is someone very warm, someone very inviting, someone uh, where you could just, you know, laugh, have jokes with, have a good time. I feel like your personality is just very bright. It's very free. And those around you, I feel like they really like your youthful nature. Like you guys could be ones who are always cracking jokes or you guys are ones who are always like attending um, just fun events. Maybe you guys like to go to the beach all the time, hike all the time, or just explore. Or you guys are just like, you know, the life of the party. But your energy is very uh, intoxicating in a good way. It's very fun. And then we have the seven of coins being in the reverse. So I keep all of these cards upright. So I guess this one I just didn't change, but we'll go ahead and leave it. But the seven of coins in reverse to me is somebody who is not focused on a situation that's not, that's always hitting a brick wall. The ability to walk away from anything that isn't growing or anything that isn't giving you what you want time at a time again. So you guys could be problem solvers. You guys could be people who um, are also very vocal as well because the sun card does talk about exposure. It talks about clarity and enlightenment. You know, we also have this higher perspective here. All right, so let's see, let's see. Candles. So some of you guys could own like a candle shop or you work with candles or some of you guys just have a really nice scent to you like you guys are smelling really good. I'm definitely getting Leo vibes uh, from this 
pile. Some of you guys are strong Leos. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. So let's see, my group two. So we have the Queen of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands coming out, okay? She is in the reverse though, but wow, I think that's so funny. Um, so with the Queen of Wands being in the reverse, I feel like you guys are good leaders. I'm also getting, you know, you guys do have your fair shares of feeling down, your fair shares of um, feeling like not yourself, very unmotivated quite possibly. Um, but at the end of the day, you're able to come out of that situation, okay? I also feel like some of you guys uh, don't mind like starting fights, you know, even if it's playful or causing drama a little bit. Okay, I feel like some of you guys could be very daring at times. Wow, we have the Sun card in the reverse. So the Sun card reverse to me speaks to someone who does struggle with depression, someone who does struggle with like emotional mental health issues, um, like manic a little bit. But I'm getting overall though, you guys are very attractive people physically and inside, like your personality. Um, and I feel like you guys like to be around people as well. For some of you guys, you just may not be having it some days. And you guys could also be very vocal with like how you're feeling, you know, even if it's not, you know, you're not having your best days. The full card in the reverse, so we also have Aries, some of you guys could be in Aries, but I'm getting you guys, um, you guys could be very funny people, like you guys are always cracking jokes, uh, but the full card reverse speaks of someone who is not foolish, someone who really takes a step back and kind of evaluates things before they hop into something foolishly here, okay, so your ability to really um, constrain yourselves okay and your ability to be also real with who you are and how you're feeling etc so my group two that is all i have for you guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe as this does help my channel and group two i'm gonna move on to group three hey group three what is up Thank you guys for being here. So let's go ahead and hop right in and see what makes you attractive. So for you guys, you guys chose the card that states stop being the old version of you. So you guys could be people who are very much about growth. You're very much about self-improvement and setting goals, crushing them, achieving them. And with you doing that, you guys inspire those around you, okay? Um, change is something that's not easy and I know everybody can agree with me here okay um, so your ability to really do the hard work all right and you guys don't even know it but you kind of get people thinking you guys motivate people and inspire those around you okay um, some of you guys are leaders some of you guys you know, like to put yourselves in a position to where you want people to change. You want to help motivate people around you. Some of you guys could be like life coaches, yoga instructors, tarot readers, or just, um, you know, uh, fitness uh, gym coaches or personal trainers. Okay. So that's what makes you attractive. And who doesn't want to be around someone like this, right? Either as a lover, a friend. Who doesn't want to be around someone who's who's going to help them become the best, best versions of themselves? Excuse me. 
So friends and lovers just see you as like a great opportunity to get to know you because they know that you're going to be very beneficial to them. My group threes. Some of you guys could have really changed your appearance. Like it could be, you know, a new wardrobe, maybe a new makeup style, new haircut. Maybe you guys have gotten like some plastic surgery. You guys look fabulous. Maybe you guys have gotten like tattoos, you know, you've gotten taller or, you know, more like in a better shape here. There's something about you that changed, whether it's externally or, you know, in your mind internally or both. Girl boss, build my own empire. So some of you guys could have like your own online business or you guys are in the process of doing so. Maybe you guys are self-employed or once again in the process of doing so here. But people find this attractive because it's motivating. It's, um, it's like you're showing people that they're able to do this. They're able to achieve the things that they want. Um, you guys could be very organized people. You guys like having, you know, your laptop, your planner, your journal. You like all the stationary kind of things here. I'm also getting like your desk. Um, some of you guys, <clears throat> the way that you decorate your desk or your home is just very, I don't know, it's, it's attractive. We also have put yourself first here. Yeah, so you guys are very like... Once again, all about self-improvement, just very focused on you, not focused on anybody else, but focused on working on yourselves, putting yourself first. I'm definitely getting like some, your style has changed for some of you and it looks good. So we have destruction. So this is Aries Scorpio vibes. Once again, um, this is a card all about change. So there's a lot of change going on here with you guys and that's one attractive quality that you guys have and that really stand out about you. Some of you guys are going after your dreams as well. You're out here making your dreams happen. I'm so proud of you guys reclaim so a lot of dark energy here okay but it's dark energy in a progressive way people find attractive that you are someone who is in your power you are claiming and reclaiming your power and some of you guys have really gone through like some difficult stuff that really have had to make you change certain things about yourselves like habits patterns some of you guys could be like recovering addicts or you guys help people, you know, like in rehab centers or maybe you guys are just, you know, moms and dads and sisters, aunties, uncles who, um, you know, help other people in your family or other people who may have had some like addiction issues. Let's pull, you know, let's actually pull some tarot cards first, then we'll get in the oracle.
Ooh, so we have the ruler of wands. This is the king of wands in this deck. And, you know, I'm so happy this card came out because this ties in so perfect. And then we have the seven of coins reversal. Group two had this. So I want to start off with the king of wands. The king of wands to me is someone who is an initiator of change. Does that matter if you are a male or a female? You guys are initiators, you guys are leaders, you guys are pack leaders. Um, and you may come across to some people as like a bit controlling or aggressive. Um, but we are talking about what makes you attractive here. It's like you guys are people who delegate authority. You guys are people who really like to uh, control like in a good way, you know, emperor vibes. Um, ruler of Wands as well is very creative. This is someone who's going after their passions and their dreams. I'm also getting you guys could have like a bit of like a, a rebellious style to you as well. Um, but I'm getting you guys are very attractive. Wands are very attractive, very appealing. And then we have a Seven of Pentacles reverse. So the Seven of Pentacles reverse describing a person to me in a positive way is someone who's not focusing on what's not working you know seven of pentacles upright it talks about a situation where you keep hitting a brick wall or a situation's not giving you what you want but when it's in the reverse it talks about leaving that situation behind not giving to it anymore so i feel like you guys are definitely problem solvers Let's pull some oracle cards. My group threes. What makes my group threes attractive? journey in the reverse so i feel like you guys are you know i'm getting a pretty positive message from this card even though it's reversed because uh journey is a card that talks about um going after a road that feels good to us okay but i'm getting with it in the reverse you guys are not foolish when it comes to your directions here it's like you guys could be people you know you like to have a plan you like things structured um, but you also have to do things that feel good in your soul, that feel good in your heart. Let's see, my group threes. What makes my group threes attractive? The world card, wow. So with the world card I'm getting, you guys are people who really take uh, your life in your own hands and make the necessary changes, okay? Some of you guys could have really like changed your lives, like ended a, a situation in your life that you were in before and created a new one. And also the world card describing someone, uh, group three, there's some people out there who really think like the world of you, like they think that you're the total package. Let's go ahead and choose one of these. My group threes, what's attractive about my group threes? That's too many cards. Invest in yourself. So you guys could be people who um, are into the stock market. Some of you guys are day traders. I know 
uh, some of you guys have commented that on my channel. Some of you guys could be, you know, into the stock market once again, or you guys are just people who really like just focus on yourselves, right? You're not out here focusing on other people or childish things or things that you know you shouldn't be doing. It's like you're really building yourselves up. Uh, some of you guys could have gotten your money up as well. You could have made some like pretty big purchases. Okay. I'm getting some of you guys are like into budgeting. I'm gonna drink some coffee. So we have this card coming out in the reverse. So the Knight of Swords in the reverse, hmm. I wanna grab a clarifier just to make sure. Why is the Knight of Swords in the reverse as what makes my book threes attractive? We have the Magician in the reverse. So we have, some of you guys could be a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart. Oh, ow. What I'm getting from this, what makes you attractive is you guys are people who are not all talk. I feel like you guys are very much action oriented people and that's what makes you attractive. Also with the magician in the reverse, I feel like you guys are not people who, you know, like to, uh, I feel like you guys aren't very much people pleasers as well. Okay. King of Cups coming out in the reverse. Very interesting. So with the King of Cups in the reverse, I'm getting you guys could be people who, um, hmm, let's pull a clarifier. Ooh, we have the Hierophant. Some of you guys are tarot readers. Some of you guys are like spiritual leaders or you guys own like a spiritual shop spiritual workshops or you know your yoga instructors or something like that here some of you guys are very deeply spiritual and i'm also getting you guys may not come off very emotional but i feel like some people when they get to know you they know that you very much are there's a lot of wisdom that people see in you and it's through your actions. And you guys are really out here dropping some knowledge as well. Like the things that you say, like, it's like, oh shit, she's right. Or, or he or she's right. Some of you guys are shop owners. So the signs that we have are Gemini and Taurus. Hierophant, people could see that you genuinely like helping people. 
okay? You have a very, like, accepting, warm energy to you where people just, like, you're very likable, my group threes. I don't think that you're, uh, you're intimidating to some, but to, but for the most part, I'm getting it, you guys are very, like, likable people. We also have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, so a lot of reversals here. You guys could, you guys definitely give off a very masculine energy, especially for my females here. We have three kings, King of Wands, King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. So you guys show up very mature, especially for my males. Uh, they love that you show up very mature. And I'm also getting what makes you attractive is that you guys could really, you know, try to hide your feelings or try to hide, um, you know, try to stay humble and just grind. But in reality, some of you guys really do got it like that. <laughs> People like your energy. People think that you're motivating my group threes. Group three, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe as this does help my channel. And I'm going to move on to group four. Thanks, group three. Hey, group four, what is up? Thank you guys for being here. So, group four, you guys chose this card that states what you think of yourself is much more important than what other people think about you. So what I'm getting here is you guys could be people who just really don't give a fuck. I'm also getting, you know, for example, if someone's giving you a hard time, if someone's just really trying to aggravate you, or just situations that unfortunately just, you know, don't turn out well. I'm getting that you guys could be people who don't, you know, stoop down to the low negative energy. I'm not saying you guys are invincible to that, but it's just like you know how to um, kind of handle situations like this, okay? It's like, once again, if someone's giving you a hard time, it's like you won't stoop down to their level, you won't be petty. It's like you'll really just take the high road here. Um, and I'm also getting the way that you speak, the way that you dress, the way that you come across my group for is people can tell that you really just don't care what other people think about you and who doesn't want to be around someone like this right it's very like you come across as someone who's not judgmental someone who's authentic and someone who's a bit motivating and inspiring um with people who are like this as well you guys could have quite a different style to you or I don't even want to say different but maybe just you know your style it's your style and this is just what radiates off of you okay whether you're met with difficult circumstances or you're out here just being you Okay, we have direction is more important than speed. Some of you guys could be in school right now and that's what makes you attractive. You're taking your schooling very seriously. I also feel like you guys are great teachers, okay? Does not matter if you're actually, you know, have a degree to teach or you're a yoga instructor or something like that. Um, I feel like the advice that you guys give is quite good advice, frankly. You guys could also be people who appreciate structure. Like you guys are people who 
like to write out plans. Okay, because with direction more important than speed, for example, I like to say that, you know, you know, there could be two type of people who want to become a doctor. Now, there's one person who's just going to hop in because, you know, they just want to be. And then there's going to be the other person who really uh, takes a second to think about if, you know, being a doctor is really what they want to do. Um, this is someone who's going to really write out a plan of how long do I need to be at this college? What classes do I need to take? someone who is very structured and knows what they're doing and has a plan okay so this is what people find attractive about you i feel like you guys could be very beautiful as well especially for my males you guys could have like thick eyebrows that are just naturally gorgeous naturally shaped um for my females you guys could be a bit coy a bit shy a bit to yourselves here okay Let's pull some oracle cards. We have the Sovereign. So the Sovereign is, I just call it the Queen card, okay? The Sovereign is someone who is a ruler, someone who is a leader. A leader of compassion, but also someone of, um, control. So the Sovereign card speaks of, once again, someone who is a leader, someone who likes to take initiative here, but it's a card that also talks about people um, underestimating the Sovereign person, people who just may not understand why the Sovereign acts or does things the way that they do, but in reality, it's for the highest good. So I'm getting like Emperor Empress vibes with the Sovereign card. Some of you guys could have crystal crowns or like crowns with seashells. But you guys come across very feminine, but also very strong. Ass body. I just wanted that plane to pass. Please excuse the background noise. But with ass body, you guys could be people who um, come across a bit intimidating, okay? It's like people see you as very well accomplished. People see you as like focused or working towards their own accomplishments and goals. But there's some kind of like determination and focus that you have to where People feel like or get intimidated to even approach you because they see that your standards could be quite high. You're someone who is just very focused on working on themselves, self-improvement, or about their goals. I'm also getting some of you guys could have very nice bodies as well with ass body, or you guys could be people who work out, um, you guys eat healthy, you guys are very conscious with what you feed your body what you put inside your body and also what you feed your head. Also, the eyes are coming out very strong. So you guys can have very beautiful eyes, whether it's the color, the shape, or both, but I feel like that's a very beautiful feature that you guys have as well. Let's pull some tarot cards.
So we have temperance. So Sagittarius, some of you guys could be Sagittarians in here. Um, I'm getting, uh, you guys could have a very uh, relaxed, balanced demeanor about you. I'm getting Kim Kardashian vibes and Kourtney Kardashian where they're just very, you know, like their face shows no emotion and their voice shows no emotion. Okay, but it seems like you're under control. It seems like you can't be phased. You can't be rocked too easily. Okay, temperance is all about, you know, mixing water with fire, water and oil and making it work. Finding the right balance here. I'm also getting you guys could be baristas or you guys are bartenders. Um, or you guys work with potions. You guys make your own oils and stuff. I feel like you guys make really good drinks. Some of you guys own a bar or own a coffee shop or you have like a own bar in your home. Okay, we have the six of swords. So your ability to not be phased is also what makes you attractive. And I feel like you guys are really good at accepting things, accepting situations and your ability to move on, your ability to know how to handle things and act accordingly is what makes you attractive. The Six of Swords is also a card of transition. It's a card of change. Uh, the Temperance card comes right after the Death card. So Temperance is all about um, getting back on our footing, being able to handle the change. We have the seventh chakra. This is the crown chakra. So the crown chakra speaks of wisdom, divine knowledge, um, knowing the answers, knowing what to do, being connected to source. So what makes you attractive, people really do believe that you have like gifts, you have powers in that um, they see you divinely protected. Yeah, there's most definitely strong Sagittarius uh, who picked this pile. There's a lot of crown energy as well. So you guys definitely come across as leaders. You guys definitely come across as uh, knowing who you are and holding yourself to that level. Man holding a heart. So for my males, what makes you attractive is you guys are very romantic, very charming, very gentleman-like. You guys could be people who have long hair as well, and I feel like you guys really rock it. You guys could be people who, uh, like your style is really, it suits you very well. You guys come across very attractive, um, not only with your looks, but with your personality. Um, some of you guys are LGBTQ, some of you guys are not, but your ability to really like tap into your emotions, to show your sensitive side is what makes you attractive and is very attractive. You guys could be people who also wear your heart on your sleeves. Uh, for my females as well, you know, you know, this is my King of Cups card. King of Cups is known to be somebody who's able to really handle their emotions. And then we have this temperance card as well. So for males and females, your ability to keep yourself grounded. And 
and I feel like also it makes you attractive. I feel like you guys are very sweet people, um, but also people can come across quite manipulative, but you guys are really good at like showing people genuine love, is what I want to say. Please excuse the background noise. Let's pull one of these cards. Emotional maturity is coming through. And then we have this desk card. So I feel like the way that you guys decorate your homes, the way you decorate your desk, the way you decorate uh, your bedroom or your car, I feel like it's very neat, it's very organized, it's very you, very much your personality here. Some of you guys are in school. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. So we have the magician in the reverse, yes. Um, what makes you attractive is that you guys are people who are out here really showing people how to love people. I feel like your love comes across very genuine. I feel like you guys aren't fake. Um, we do have opposite signs here, Gemini and Sagittarius. Some of you guys could have both of these signs in your chart or one or the other. But the magician reverse to me is someone who's not trying to like put up a front, someone who's not trying to, uh, you know, impress people or be liked by everybody, okay? We have death in the reverse, so Scorpio energy. Let's see, why is death in the reverse? The Ten of Pentacles. So your ability to really uh, leave things and people behind. Your ability to end situations, but I'm also getting like, for example, let's say you and a friend have a fallout. Wow, and then we have the Two of Cups in the, in the reverse. Let's say you and someone have a fallout. So I'm getting here your ability to end things on a equal term to where, you know, maybe you guys are still following each other on social media. Maybe you guys are just friends. Um, but I'm getting a situation where you don't really like to end things on such a negative, bad note to where, you know, we have this doom and gloom. But your ability to be fair with situations and just kind of go your separate ways. I hope that resonates for some of you. We have the Ace of Cups, so what makes you attractive is your guys' self-love, people see that you're out here really just giving to yourself, really watering yourself, and they see you very, like, abundant. They see that your cup is overflowing, um, and it shows my group fours, all right? So group four, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this resonated. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it does help my channel, and I'm going to move on to group five. Thanks, group four. Hey group five, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys for being here. So group five, let's hop right in it. You guys chose this card that states, let things unfold naturally. 
So the first thing that's uh, sticking out to me is the legs. I feel like you guys have killer legs, okay? Um, doesn't matter if they're long or they're short, just your legs are a really nice feature here. Um, and heels. I feel like you guys look really good in heels or your guys' shoe game is just top notch. Yes, for my males as well, your shoe game is top notch. Um, let things unfold naturally. So I'm getting like your guys' ability to go with the flow, your guys' ability to not really trip on situations. And um, especially when it comes to like potential love partners, they really find attractive that you're you're one to go with the flow. You're not one to rush. You're really just out here doing your own thing. And if things come together, cool. And if things don't, fine. Okay. So it really draws people towards you because there's a very non-judgmental energy to you. There's a very calming aura about you. And... Uh, a yin energy to you, right? Yin, yang, yin is the very passive, passive, receptive, you let things come to you instead of forcing things to happen, okay? Which is ego. Uh, people also sense there's a very spiritual side to you. Wisdom. So let's see my group fives. What makes my group fives attractive? What makes my group fives attractive? Pull this one. Speak positively about yourself. So I'm getting you guys could be people who like to work out. Or some of you guys just have really nice bodies. You're very conscious of what you feed yourself. Um... I'm getting some of you guys like to go on hikes or you like to go running. But I'm getting like the clothes that you wear. You guys could really like to show off your bodies and it's just really nice. Um, you know, and even if you're not like super slender or anything like that, the way that you dress, the way that your confidence comes across is that you're very comfortable with your body. People see that you're very body positive. And people love that. We love that because you're out here being real and authentic. And you're also showing other people that it's normal. It's normal to love your body no matter what. I'm going to drink some coffee. Some of you guys could have designer belts or you like, you like designer things. The Magi. So we have Gemini energy here. Some of you guys are actors. Some of you guys um, like to perform like you're singers or you guys are very skilled at whatever it is that you do. But I feel like what makes you attractive is you're not afraid to put yourselves out there, my group fives. Some of you guys are magicians. Um... And the magician to me, the Magi to me, is someone who is very confident in their abilities. Someone very confident in themselves. Please excuse the background noise. Um, and someone with a lot of willpower. Power. 
Yeah, people definitely see you in your power. People see that you are someone who understands their own power and is utilizing it at this time. You guys are very inspiring people is what I want to say. You guys don't even know it, but you inspire those around you to have confidence in themselves, to love themselves the way that they are, and to take full control. Ask body. Yeah, your body is definitely something that people just love my group fives. Let's pull some tarot. So we have Gemini. You guys could be a Gemini. I'm also getting uh, your eyes. We have a gigantic eye right here. So your eyes could be a really nice feature you guys have. Whether it's the color or the eye shape or, you know, whatever. Just your eyes are very beautiful, very attractive. What makes you attractive? Three of Cups. So I feel like you guys could be the life of the party. I feel like you guys get along very well with people. You guys could throw really good parties. Some of you guys are baristas or your bartenders. You guys make really good drinks. And even if this is not about partying and stuff, I just feel like your company is, is very fun. It's very exciting. Um, and just your ability for some of you to really like I feel like some of you guys are people persons, okay? You guys could have a lot of friends or just a lot of people that are attracted to you that want to get to know you. Group five, what makes my group fives attractive? Yeah, some of you guys are strong Geminis in <laughs> this uh, pile. And then we have the Seven of Cups. I love it. Um, a lot of cups here. Some of you guys um, have a lot of options or you have a lot of opportunities or you guys have created these opportunities for you. I'm also getting some of you guys have different streams of income. Okay. Group five, a lot of people are attracted to you. You attract a lot of people. And for suitors that you have, it's like they know that you have a lot of suitors too. And they find that attractive because they see that you're someone that everybody wants. Okay, there's like competition for you. Let's pull some oracle cards. Angel of Strength. So we also have Leo energy coming out here. You guys could be a Gemini with Leo in your chart or just one of these signs. Uh, but I love the Strength card. A sh the Strength card is a very healthy card to me because it speaks of discipline. It speaks of someone who knows themselves and who can't be too easily rocked. This is someone who... Uh, you know, holds back from anything that they know they should not move towards. This is someone who is able to really handle difficult situations uh, very gracefully, okay? Um, yes. I'm also getting, once again, with the body, you guys could be um, people who love to do yoga, people who love to work out, go running, go hiking. Uh, but you guys do come across very likable, very graceful, very friendly, and very strong as well.
You guys definitely do have a strong personality for some of you. Cornucopia in the reverse. So what I'm getting here is that you guys could be very giving people. I'm also getting, you guys could be people who have acquired a lot of things. Um, but at the same time, it's like you guys don't really act like it, okay? So let's say, for example, you're a millionaire, but you're still out here dressing just in a plain white tee, plain jeans, you know, regular shoes in your wallet, you know? That's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. Some of you guys don't even know, like, how valuable you guys are like maybe you do know but at the same time it's like there's people here who just see you as like such an opportunity my group fives okay but you guys come across very humble especially with this strength card here let's go ahead and pull one of these cards Group fives, what makes my group fives attractive? What makes my group fives attractive? Okay. So we have this card that says, your uniqueness is important. Follow the path of the heart. Your differences are not defects and each person's journey is different. Yeah, so you guys come across very unique you guys come across very different as well uh, to some people and that's why they're very attracted to you. It could be your personality, the things that you have obtained, uh, the way that you dress, the way that you are, okay? And you show people that there's different ways to go about things, okay? So for example, you know, this is just an example. Maybe you guys didn't go to college, but you guys are business owners, you know, just, just something like that. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. My battery is almost going to die. It's not flashing yet, but battery is low. My group fives, what makes my group fives attractive? So we have the Ten of Pentacles. You guys could be people who are very focused on uh, family. You guys could be people who just really care about family. You care about your friends and the community around you. Um, you guys could also be people who are focused on long-term stuff, long-term gains. Um, you guys worry or plan for your future. You guys are people who want a family of your own. Okay? So people see you as something stable and that's what they find attractive. swords I love it so I love this uh, depiction of the Queen of Swords because she doesn't look very angry she doesn't look very you know like she's been hurt but it shows her here very um, very happy very friendly um, so what I see from this card what makes you attractive is that you guys can be people who love to help other people you guys come across very bright very inviting and very likable as well once again i feel like you guys give great advice some of you guys could be actual school teachers or you know um advisors um i feel like you guys are very intelligent very smart you guys come across that way 
um, but also very humble, very inviting and very friendly. People see you as someone with a good head on their shoulders, um, but also someone with a very strong character, you know, queen of swords and strength. I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You guys um, are also very funny people, you know. The Queen of Swords to me is someone witty, someone funny. Six of Cups in the reverse, wow. Yeah, what makes you attractive, people notice that you are someone who has changed. You are someone who has let go of the past and is really just on to new things. You guys come across very mature as well, someone who's not immature. Eight of Cups in the reverse. I also feel like you guys are very loyal people. Like you guys notice what you have in front of you. You guys are able to look on the bright side of things. And, you know, when the going gets tough, I feel like you guys are really very much people who are solid. You guys are good friends. You guys are good people, good company. Okay. And let's pull one more card. So my group fives, what makes my group fives attractive? My group fives. What makes my group fives attractive? All right, let's see. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys are people who are very appreciative of what you have. I feel like you guys are very abundant. I love the Seven of Pentacles because in original tarot, it shows someone who's not very happy with what they have. But with the Seven of Pentacles, she looks very happy with what she has she grew an apple tree and now she's gaining the fruits of her labor so maybe some of you guys um have been working on something for quite a while and you're finally starting to see some gains um you're starting to enjoy life enjoying the things that you have at this time and that's what makes you attractive so wow we have the star card so some of you guys could have aquarius in your chart also Scorpio, but Aquarius and Scorpio signs to me are very people, very much people who um, are into change. Okay, so there's a very inspiring, healing energy to you that kind of gets people motivated to change things in their lives or about themselves as well. So, and you guys come across very authentic. Group 5, that is all I have for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe as this does help my channel. I hope this resonated. Let me know. And I will see you guys in my next reading.